Media center, but now the provider could add their brand to that strip. Yeah, and where the brand comes in, right here. Right. So recorded TV would be if you physically are watching a live TV channel, mm -hmm. you would then record it, and it would actually be physically recorded to your PC, not to the network, not to the set top box. Um, but if you chose the other applications, which are higher up, so that data is going to be passed over over the IP to the media center to be recorded. Uh, it would be directly streamed to this PC. Okay. And it'd be recorded directly on this PC. Okay. Very good. Um, this application here, yeah. which would be branded with the operator again, gives the on-demand experience, so similar to what we see here, right? Um, as well as whole home DVR. So any provider could, could write apps and they could appear here in Media Center? Um, well, apps from a standpoint of... Um, or is this, this is basically just calling what the yeah, provider so, has? Yeah, this is, these tiles here are right. directly from the provider and right. we wouldn't be adding any other tiles to sure. the media center. Sure. So we want to keep the media center experience okay. very tight and very similar to... And the provider has to decide to open this up, in other words, to offer their their media room offering on other PCs in your home. Correct. Correct? Correct. Exactly. So and the, the uh, end user would download an application okay. from the operator's website sure. that would then load and... and it so if I had you today and, and AT&T decided we're going to allow open open your U-verse to other Windows 7 PCs, right? Whatever would have to happen here with my set-top box would happen. Correct. And then on my network I can go to Media Center. Correct. Once you install the application, okay. uh, our application would do no different than what the set-top box does. Right. We call it bootstrap. We sure. bootstrap up and pull down the information. Okay. Do you know any providers that have decided to do this or is it this? There. Um, because this is 2.0, right. no one has released a formal plans on okay. how they're going to roll it out. So okay. Our assumption is that the platform will come fully intact to get all the three screen strategy. That's right. our expectation. Okay. And then what's the role of the Xbox again in here? Pardon me? The, the role of the Xbox then in the ecosystem? So, so the role of the just Xbox, another client? It's just another client. It is okay. not a hard drive client. Okay. So we do not utilize hard drive to record. Okay. We use it as no different than we classify a satellite box. Okay. It's able to communicate with the hard drive. Okay. And stream information to the Xbox. So uh, if I set my Xbox up in an extender session with my media center, I could pull recorded TV from my media center if it's recorded there, or I could stream it from the set-top box. Correct. Is that right? Correct. And okay. if you record something, once you recorded an asset on your hard drive, okay. you can watch it in different time slices on every device. Same asset at the same time. Okay. So there's no tuners in the box. Okay. It's just egress output of, of IP, and it's flowing to every device. So this one could be playing something at a different interval than this one and this one. Okay. So it gets full functionality. We're also showing here... Uh, so what we're showing here is no different than what we're showing here. Okay. We haven't finished the interface here, but we're trying to show uh, uh, an idea of what sure. uh, bot storefronts would look like. Right, right. Also the ability to do DVR content. So if we can take uh, content that is stored here, okay. and then using the cloud services, pull that down and have a representation here on the, uh, on the device as well. We were able to choose that same asset like Iron Man here. Right. Uh, watch that now. And we're using something called Smooth Streaming, okay. which is a fragmented MPEG-4 codec that allows us to uh, have multiple time, uh, multiple profiles of the asset, so that it chooses its bandwidth accordingly okay. and delivers that quality of, of the profile. And then, is there? Um so this would be some sort of mobile client that would be re part of the media room platform that a, a provider would then customize to their needs? Uh, correct. Okay. Correct. And uh, would there be like a remote recording at all? You know uh, what I mean? Well, so today in our product we do support remote recording on okay. DVR. Okay. So we, so the operator can run an application in Uver uh, on ATT Uverse. Right. They already have the uh, capability and you can go on there and record any program on your DVR. I gotcha. That's 1.0, right? That's 1.0. 